the British Parliament Tea Act of 1773 was created. It upset many who were Dutch. The act was a bill designed to save the faltering East Indian Company by lowering tea taxes and stop tea from being smuggled into America by Dutch traders. Did you hear about the Tea Act? Yeah, I heard it messed up a lot of the Dutch traders. Who knows what will happen next? You two, why are you just staying there? Get back to work. Yes, Captain! We demand that all imported tea on this ship be sent back to England. No, I'm Governor Hutchinson, and what I say goes. Well, this won't be the last you see of me. Well, goodbye. I listen to you, because I have a plan. Well, everyone listen. Everybody stay quiet and act normal. Okay. You know the drill, right? Yeah. We throw the sea off the boat, right? This captain is Indian, so nobody would know it's us. What? They arrive to the port where three ships are docked. In the streets, you can hear the angry grunts of the colonists throwing the tea off the ship. A day after, colonists and family meet. Everyone keep up your hope and courage. We will get our way. January of the next year. You guys know the drill. Start throwing. Later that month. Okay, any witnesses, please speak up. There'll be no trouble. Quietness is covered by the colony. Shipment after shipment, colonial people addressed as Indians will attack the ships later on in March. Okay, another shipment came in. You know the drill. Start throwing. We will not stop until we get our way. April. The governor speaking to the colonies again. With all the attacks on our ship, we don't know if the Indians are good or bad. February. Ships head back to England. Yeah. All the hoy sailors, we've been talking about the Privy Council. No slacking. Aye, aye, Captain. They arrive in England and are at the front of the council. Until you can tell us who the individuals are who are destroying all of our tea, all of Boston will be punished. But... But nothing. I suggest you return and fix the problem, and the ports of Boston will be closed until East Indian Company is reimbursed for its loss. In April 1774, the Parliament passed a set of laws called the Coercive Acts. It was aimed at punishing Boston for their actions. Even though none of the colonists could rat out the people who did the actions, many felt like Sam Adams and John Hancock were involved. The Port Act closed Boston Harbor. It threw off the economy of New England. The Boston Port Act put Massachusetts Government Act and the Quartering Act and Quebec Act in place and many more. American colonists responded by protesting. No more Port Act. No more Port Act. No more Ports Act. No more Ports Act. No more Ports Act. The Boston Tea Party was the first significant act of defiance by American colonists. Because of all the tea in the harbor, the harbor started to smell. <laughs> I can't look at her. Everybody, Ooh. did I say go? <laughs> Do you see me in the chariot? One, one. Hey, look at her. Okay, 
last time. That was good, wasn't it? No, we laughed. I'm so sorry. I can't edit that out unless it's three seconds. Ready, set, two.